I think it was after um, that we won the game, I was like, am I going to do this? Am I going to put my vehicle on the line to go out and see this? There is nothing like watching the game with a bunch of students that support the school as much as you do. From the beginning, I already wanted to drive there, but I had classes, and then I told myself, if they win Monday night, then I'm driving up there. I knew my best friends were the number one basketball fans here at Dalton State. But yeah, it was pretty much a split decision 30 minutes after the game ended. It's unbelievable, it really is. I watched the students around me cheering, going crazy. And I think, wow, I am a part of a school that supports their team. And that makes me so much more proud to be a role runner. You got a tight schedule. I told you, don't get on the bus unless you win the winning national championship. And I said, when you get off the bus, you're the ones that's going to win. Now listen, we play tomorrow. Why paint my face? Why not? <laughs> um, I think the real reason why I paint my face is I like showing school pride. And so I, I paint my face to, to kind of be that symbol of, a symbol kind of like what the Roadrunner is. And even more recently, there was a little boy in town um, and I heard from my boss that when the parade happened downtown, they were wondering where the blue guy was. And to hear those little things kind of shows that the symbol is working. Me being bigger than myself and being part of something bigger than myself is actually working. I mean, like, who's not going to paint their face if there's paint available? I didn't prep for the paint ahead of time, as I should have, like a good roadrunner. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to turn that down. You know, Will, he always paints his face up. I, I had to get in on that. I think I had a mindset of all in or nothing. And I didn't paint my whole face. I just had two stripes right down here. But just needed to do it, because how else would you support your school? William had the pain with him, and we were one of the few Dolphin State students there, so I was like, why not? We need to do this, show our support, support and show our team colors. You know, William's been doing it every game, and it was a better way of showing school spirit. And, you know, to join along with William brought out, you know, uh, school spirit in me. I didn't even get worried. Usually I would have just been like, I would look up at the scoreboard and like, you know, like, man, there's uh, no way we can do this. But uh, something just, it just hit me, just came over me like, uh, we're good. We'll find a way no matter what. There's going to be a way we're going to win. We weren't going to lose. I didn't want it to end there. I didn't want the journey to end right there. And uh, honestly, it, it hurt so bad because it, it had felt like we lost the game. I started tearing up in the, time out so I'm just glad it didn't end right there we were we were known as that first year team so now I feel like winning it all you know our name is out there I mean we made it to the LA Times Washington Post so it's really big for our community and our school as a whole it really means a lot and it took me a while to finally figure out the feeling of it and I, I finally figured it out. And, you know, every other year I'm used to losing my last game of the season. But this year, I actually won my last game. So that's why I feel so much different. Go Knights! 
Uh, <laughs> uh, the dance off between me and the security lady. It started with, I guess, my normal demeanor of uh, trash talking and, and, and dancing and, and going crazy for our team. And I had been talking to the security ladies all night and, and pointing at them and saying, Well, you know you want to be a roadrunner also. You know that you're supporting us at this game. It's okay because you can't really pick sides because you know you have to be unbiased, but I know and you know that you're a roadrunner. She giggled a little bit and then I started dancing and I was like, come on, you know you want to dance, you know you want to dance. <laughs> and she just, she bobbed her head a little bit and, and danced a little bit while looking at her supervisor and quickly stopped as soon as the supervisor caught wind. But <laughs> I was happy because I feel like I converted another um, person out in the world to be part of Roadrunner Nation. did it uh, and everybody knows it you know uh, so many people came out it just it was just love you can feel it it's hard to put into words because you know every kid dreams of this you know coming out on top something I've been looking for my whole life I want to be a champion a national champion <laughs> I know uh, people saw me hugging my mom, and I know she's like very proud of me. And then I may get a little emotional talking about it, but but I mean, uh, uh, my dad passed away, and kind of felt my dad too. I don't know, it's just one of those things. Tired. 
Tired, man. Tired. We gotta go right back to sleep. <laughs> Part of me, when I saw everyone gather together, I said, yeah, I was there to see the game, and now I'm going to see them come back. Um, and then there's another part that was just so proud that not only students are showing the pride in the school, but the people of Dalton gathering together to just say, oh, man, it's insane. Oh, right. That just warms my heart that this community cares so much for a school and for a team. It's crazy the school spirit we have. And whenever I got back, it was about 12, and I was just hand, like walking around the school, and everybody's giving me high fives. Hey, I saw you on TV, and stuff like that. And it's like wow, wow, that was that was pretty pretty uplifting. And to see you know all those people there to support our uh, road runners when they came back home from the game. It was just really, really uh, breathtaking. It was almost like a movie. I mean, we were out right outside um, the county lines and we were just standing up in the bus just waiting for the cops to just come up and just finally have that moment hit. Wow, we actually champions. And then coming back, seeing everybody, seeing people on the bridge, and it was a great feeling, man. <laughs> That's something you see in movies. <laughs> I mean, it was just a great feeling. It, it was something that you see in a movie. You know, it's, it's really hard to process at that time, you know, I mean, we're a bunch of young guys and I feel like a lot of us can't even really, I feel like we really don't even know what we've done yet. So, I mean, God has been blessing us, not only that day, but today being at the radio station and, you know, interviews, the interview taking place right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's just hard to put into words, really. I laughed a little bit because it was almost like they're on celebrity status. That's pretty awesome. You know, as soon as the police, you know, you seen the blue lights, uh, it wasn't a terrible feeling like somebody's pulling you over or anything. <laughs> it was a good feeling like, you know, like everybody's happy for you, even the police. And that's, <laughs> that's, that felt great. That felt great. It was just so cool to see our trucks and then police cars come in and then their bus. And then everyone shouted, they have arrived! And seeing that, it's just, wow, I whipped my phone out, started taking videos, because I knew that this was something I would want to show back home, show my family what kind of school I'm in. Wow. Wow, guys. As a community, as alumni of this magic place, and this is a magic place. You know, they say we, Disney World is world's happiest place. You have put us on the map, taken us from from Dalton State College, which everyone here knows and loves, to some place that now the world saw on Sports Center last night. <laughs> I told the team before we left, don't get on the bus unless you want to win a national championship. Oh, yeah. This is not my team. This is not your team. This is not their team. This is our team. The right is our team. There's a 
lot of reasons we won the world this championship. And at the top of the list was for his fiance. At the time, it only seemed like a dream to get a school that would be unified and to have a school that would be prideful in who they are and be prideful to be a roadrunner. When I saw everybody on the quad, it was just a, a shock and kind of a fulfillment of that dream and a dream come true to have the support and the, and the love and the pride that I knew could exist. If you know anything about the history of the school, one of the famous quotes out there is, uh, see the future, be the change.